Patel, Dr. Neelam, and good afternoon, everybody. And Sanjeev, I really appreciate your presence. Of course, Altamash uh, was a fantastic talk as usual. I was listening to Sanjeev, and and uh, I love this, honestly speaking. How lucky we are being a practicing diabetologist. We could offer you a certain a cafeteria approach. I have a menu spread with you. You choose, you pick, you decide. We will put the advantages and the disadvantages, the possible minimum here and there. वो मुझे वो IPL वाली स्टोरी याद आती है कि रोहित शर्मा और विराट कोहली दोनों जरूरी तो है मगर एक राजस्थान रॉयल्स से खेलता है एक मुंबई इंडियंस से खेलता है वही स्टोरी मुझे याद आती है जो कचौड़ी अहमदाबाद में बनती है कचौड़ी इंदौर में भी बनती है कचौड़ी कोटा में भी बनती है कचौड़ी दिल्ली में भी बनती है दे आर ऑल सेम but there are some integrity which we need to understand and choose your insulin wisely so i am going to talk to you in next 15 minutes or so i am going to talk to you about how do you use this insulin the glue bag that i am going to talk to you about in your outpatient practice and in your inpatient practice i am going to start with a hypothetical case but it's the case that we see every everybody of us see this patient in your day to day clinical practice He is a busy engineer. Little on the over overweight side, slightly hypertensive, diabetics in six uh, six years, hypertensive in seven years, occasional drinker, non-smoker, exercises irregularly. Typical Mumbai engineer that comes to your clinic. You can see that his sugars are out of bounds. There is a presence of dyslipidemia. So we all know that on the on the cramingham scale of atherosclerosis he is a high risk patient for developing a premature atherosclerotic disease and whatever the medications that this guy is on the challenges we know that the first and the foremost thing that you have to talk to the patient you may talk about every possible other aspects of the story but the pivotal thing that you cannot forget is the importance of glycemic control unless and until dr ranjit is here and i appreciate his presence Uh, unless and until you achieve glycemic control, rest of all they become irrelevant for you. And you can see that he is on with a good therapy, metformin. He is on with liraglutide and he is on with empagliflozin. So a good cardiovascular protection is achieved. But looking at these therapies, I would ask all of you: How many of you will agree that the fellow who has an A1C of 9.2 is going to reach the target? By these three therapies, or even intensive treatment of these therapies, it's not possible. We all are aware of that. So he needs a little better control of hyperglycemia, and this is the current ADA 2024. Now I have got a little, I would say, difference of opinion. Even though this this slide is prepared by Dr. No Nordis team, and thank you for this educational partnership here, but I have a little difference of this opinion here. whenever it comes to the glycemic control nothing can be insured and let us be very clear on that let us have a full clear headed understanding on this that when nothing works insulin works when you are running out of your resources and you are trying to treat the difficult situations the only thing the only drug that comes to your rescue is insulin So I sometimes get mesmerized how insulin is challenged by the drugs like GLP-1 receptor agonists or HGLP like inhibitors or DPT-4 inhibitors. Absolutely wonderful drugs. They are game changers, I would say. But they are game changers as far as the cardiovascular outcomes are concerned. They are game changers as far as the target organ damage is related to diabetes are concerned. But the basic pathophysiology of diabetes is hyperglycemia. You cannot ignore that. so we need to have therapies which will be wonderful and this is what exactly degludeg offers to you as sanju also alluded to the talk that second gen insulin analogs basal insulin analogs are wonderful insulins they are truly peakless they have got a less variability and they are truly 24 hours active and alta mash beautifully alluded to this this uh, concept of you know the illusion to the therapy to to, to be with You know, I would say compliant to the therapy. So, do I have a evidence to say that? And here is Degludeg. 
look at the half life look at the total duration of action more than 42 hours somebody asked in the previous session that sir itne badhiya insulin ne to glargin you 100 band kar dete hai usko and send you answered it beautifully with that even though platinum is available that doesn't mean that you should stop using gold i agree to that but understand that glargin u100 is a standard of comparison now if at all any insulin has to come in the market for the approval no matter it could be a ultra rapid or rapid or short acting or any other new insulin including the once in a week once in a month once in a year shots they have to prove their non inferiority with the glargin u100 if the glargin u100 is a standard of comparison you cannot change it you cannot stop it that is very important one now. now this is what altamash was talking about this is a trust study and how much people they trust in the uk and they looked at and this is a beautiful study published by dr kp and they looked at the trust of the people and found out how is the glycemic lowering ability of debut and you can clearly see that it does the job it does the job with much lesser risk of hypoglycemia and i am going to show you that this is what the you know glycemic variability is and we know we understand the importance of controlling glycemic variability glycemic variabilities are important to reduce down the microvascular complications rather than microvascular and we all know that microvascular complications are extremely difficult to treat now if you really look at the day to day variability intraday variability and the interday variability you can see that debutec has an edge over the current existing glargin u100 glargin u300 if it comes to the interday variability also the degludec has a little edge over glargin u300 or glargin u100 degludec in comparison to these both insulins are is truly peakless and that's exactly what we are expecting of an ideal basal insulin analog so this is what i was talking about that day to day that is interday variability degludec seems to have a little edge over the other basal insulin that we use in our clinical practice and this was proved by one of the switch studies and this was a switch which was done between the degludec and glargin u100 and what they found out is this that there is a clear better time in range and a clear better hypoglycemia reduction when the patients were switched from glargin u100 to the insulin degludec and that doesn't require any rocket science to understand Now there is a good amount of data that is published in different studies. There are the real world studies, the randomized control trials of more than sixteen thousand patients. Phase three begin, we know. Phase three B switch to we know. Cardiovascular outcome devote trial, we all are aware about it. And you treat type two diabetes is a very interesting study. And they looked at what? They looked at the hypoglycemia. which is a common concern with insulin and we all are aware that hypoglycemia is a concern and needs attention and try to try to avoid hypoglycemia as much as possible to the best possible of your abilities and you can clearly see here whether it is a switch study or a confirmed study from the the data which was published by uh, um, uh, as a real world evidence you can clearly see that degludec is a much better drug to reduce down the overall hypoglycemia i agree with the dr sanjeev that some of glargin u100 has a little edge as far as the nocle hypoglycemia is concerned which is also an important point but overall hypoglycemia especially level 2 and level 3 hypoglycemias are much 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 lower with degludec in comparison to glargin u100 or glargin u we need to understand also that this is a very very potent medication that we have and how can you know about it we have looked at the time in range along with that an area under the curve after the injection and you can clearly see that in comparison with glargin u300 degludec has a much better area under the curve now what does that mean to us how it boils down your clinical practice that tells you that yes the pharmacokinetics and the pharmacodynamics of this insulin is persistent is reproducible and it can be continued over a long period of time bright study you all are aware about it 
was a wonderful study which looked at the comparison of debut date versus Gradi mu hundred and so we have shown this slide that as far as the A one C reduction is concerned, they are not inferior to each other at all and both achieve the target here. But then RSSDI guidelines mentions about that Glargenu 300 requires a little more 20% extra dose if at all you have to use it in the patients or if you want to shift or switch these patients because it takes a little time to start acting but I am going to show you that Degludeg acts very very quickly and the evidence is there in an in hospital patients in ICU patients so in the hospital patients how the degludeg acts and look at the you know the, the onset of action it technically starts acting within 30 minutes now that is a definite age for glargenu you can use both glargenu 100 degludeg as well in your ICU or in hospital patients those who are receiving the basal short supply it's very quick to act, it's a very quick action and more importantly ease of daily ingestion. Now these two second generation insulin analogs, Glargin 300 versus Degludeg have got that better flexibility of the dosing timing because Glargin U100 requires a timing to be very precise. If somebody is taking Glargin U100 at maybe probably 9 pm, every day he or she has to take it at 9 pm. Now we are not as blessed as to be there in Ahmedabad, we are in Mumbai. And Sanjayvani is here, he will tell you that once you are caught in the traffic of Mumbai, you can take from reaching Andheri to maybe Prairi Jaisar, where I practice, anywhere between 40 minutes to 4 hours. Now that is the brutal reality of Mumbai life. Here I require an insulin, which will also best to meet that ability that flexibility so that I am not concerned about my insulin timings and maybe by the day they have a phenomenal dosing flexibility, the timing flexibility that you need. And also you can see that it is extremely effective as a choice of therapy and which was proved in this IDO study in the in hospital patients as well. Do we have an Indian data on it? That's absolutely fantastic. We have published this data, Dr. Mishra has published this data on insulin degludeg and its efficacy and it was presented in one of the ADAs and we know that both insulin degludeg and glargin 300 are comparable and they can be used in the day to day practice but degludeg also has one very very important advantage of having a lesser variability in comparison to glargin 300 so we need to understand that degludeg has got a fantastic, stable, truly peakless basal action which will give you all the possible advantages of reduction in the glycemic variability with better time range. As far as hypoglycemia is concerned, Raji Altamash has beautifully talked about the comparison, even Sanju has talked about the comparison of the newer basal analogs as far as the hypoglycemia prevention in comparison to the generation 1 basal analogs. So I will not detail in discuss in details, but remember that overall hypoglycemia, no matter it could be an OPD practice or an inpatient practice, is is definitely better with Glargin for U300 as well as Degludeg, but it is definitely better with insulin Degludeg if you really compare the whole overall hypoglycemia. The hypoglycemia which requires assistance, this is much better with this newer generation. And as Sanjeev has also told you that it has been approved officially now, so you can freely use this insulin system. The advantage of Degludeg is that it can be used in type 1 diabetics from the age of 1 year or more. Almost every adult can be given. Elderly, you are not worried about. In any kind of metabolic organ related emergencies, this insulin can be given. So friends. If I to conclude my talk, I'll say that to me, if you really ask me, one of the best insulins that, and I love this, I love this insulin, and I'm, I'm very honest to you, friends, that insulin degludate 
is one of the great choices as far as the therapy is concerned, as far as the basal sector is concerned, as far as the ease of administration is concerned, as far as the use in the clinical practice is concerned, as far as day to day titration is concerned about CG what we do in two. And as Altamash said, that it robs off the fear of insulin from you. And we want, as the people, those who practice diabetes, each and everyone who are sitting in this chamber or who are practicing diabetes should be empowered to use basal insulin fearlessly in their clinical practice. Thank you very much for your kind attention.